Well, it's the most serious health crisis facing a president since Ronald Reagan was shot in 1981. Thanks so much for joining us this afternoon, everyone. I'm Elizabeth Kling. And I'm Curtis Ming. The White House says President Trump remains fatigued and had been injected with an experimental antibody cocktail. Let's get on over to CBS 13's Tony Lopez with everything we know this hour. Yeah, of course, once again, the big headline, President Trump now at Walter Reed Hospital in Bethesda, Maryland. The president's physician says he has been given Regeneron, the antibody cocktail you may have heard about, after he and First Lady Melania Trump tested positive for COVID-19. White House officials say they're both in good spirits. You saw the president there giving the thumbs up and waving, despite uh, displaying some mild symptoms. Here's some sound from his White House press secretary. He is hard at work. Um, we're having to slow him down a little bit. I'm optimistic that uh, he'll have a very quick and speedy recovery. So the diagnosis came after one of the president's closest aides seen here, Hope Hicks, tested positive for the virus. That was on Wednesday. That's when she began exhibiting some symptoms. The chief of staff confirmed the White House had been notified of Hicks' status before the president left for that fundraiser at his New Jersey golf club on Thursday. The president just tweeting out a video on Twitter. I want to thank everybody for the tremendous support. I'm going to Walter Reed Hospital. I think I'm doing very well, but we're going to make sure that things work out. The First Lady is doing very well. So uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I will never forget it. Thank you. A message from the president, Democratic rival Joe Biden, seen here campaigning in Michigan after he and his wife Jill announced negative test results today. Even if they've been exposed, they won't taste, test negative, though, for a few days if they have indeed contracted it. Here's more. Sending my prayers for the health and safety of the First Lady and President, uh, the President of the United States. This is not a matter of politics. It's a bracing reminder to all of us that we have to take this virus seriously. The Bidens were tested, of course, because of their proximity to the family, uh, the first family at Tuesday's debate. Vice President Mike Pence's office announced he has tested negative. President Trump's daughter, Ivanka, son-in-law, Jared, say they've also tested negative. And President Trump's 14-year-old son, Barron, has also tested negative. We'll follow it, of course, all night long here, Elizabeth.